So here you are looking at the dragon new sleep endoscopy of a male who is 48 year old whose BMI is 31.2 and whose AHI in the total sleep time is 36. Non-REM is 41 and REM is only 10. So it's mostly obstructive apneas. And mostly he has slept supine. And he has got maximum events in the supine position. Uh, some on the right, little less on the left, nothing in the prone. He has not actually slept in prone. So he's got a gross deviated septum on the right side. He is doing his drug induced sleep endoscopy with best monitoring. If you see on the right side of this patient, the nose, there's a grossly deviated nasal septum. So there's hardly any space to go inside. On the left hand side, there's a compensatory hypertrophy. Large inferior turbinate on the left side. I'm going in from the left side. So this is the deviated septum. This middle turbinate is also pretty polypoidal. This is the compensatory hypertrophy of this septal mucosa, almost a septal turbinate and the inferior turbinate. So we can see there's a lot of obstruction on the left side as well. Now there's a little bit of adenoid here which is inflamed and is secreting that also leads to change in the surface tension and collapsibility of the airway right now the vis of the patient is 86 he has not completely slept so he is not snoring so as we go further inside we we'll look at the airway at this point of time so he's not snoring, it's not collapsing. The tongue base does not look big. The epiglottis looks normal. The salpingopharyngeal folds are grade one. They're between 25% to 75%. So we'll ask the anesthetist to induce a little more sleep. The patient is already sedated, sedated with dexmedetomidine. The midazolam has also been added. So now we'll wait gently for the sedation to take place. As you can see, the bis is reducing and coming towards 80. 60 to 80 is the range in which a correct sedation happens. And as the base is approaching 80, the patient has started sleeping and snoring. The patient's complaint are daytime sleepiness and snoring. And here you can see a complete apnea happening. Now the airway tone is reduced. That's the uvula. This is the tonsil. This is the tonsil here. So the upper pole of the tonsil and the uvula, as we know, base of the uvula and the upper pole of the tonsil are the area which actually collapse. We are still waiting for the patient to go into apnea and snoring. The base is already below 80.
the patient is not a mouth breather in spite of the nasal blockage he is not a mouth breather he is sleeping with his mouth perfectly closed and that's the reason his tongue is not pressing at the back it's not falling either now this patient is getting into snoring so crash sedation should never be done because that's not a proper measurement of the sleep stage we should always give it some time and wait for the snoring to appear and obstructions to happen now we can see that this is a clearly a palatal level of obstruction which is a lower palate so it's a lower palatal obstruction the higher part of the palate is not obstructing you can see this funnel kind of configuration the obstruction is only at the lower part of the soft palate which is a good anatomy a lot of secretions here because of the adenoids and from the nose but we can very clearly see that the tongue base and the epiglottis has no collapse it's only the soft palate which is collapsing this is the correct stage of assessment of sleep apnea this is a predominantly lateral collapse so in this case it's possible to perform a uh, uvula sparing surgery so this is the upper pole of the tonsil covered by the palato pharyngeal muscle this this structure is the palato pharyngeus so we have very clearly seen that there is absolutely no collapse of the base tongue and the epiglottis so we need to clear up the adenoids which you can see here which are source of these secretions we need to correct the septum inferior turbinate the septal turbinate and uh, the patient is expected to get a very good result because his bmi is not very high and he is expected to get a very very good result thank you for watching